Hey guys, it's Mr. AJ's Tech here, and today I got a theme review of iMat. And now this um, theme is um, pretty complex, and it's actually much different than your average theme. Now, um, there's a few things I would like to um, say right off the bat. A lot of people think that um, the theme is way overpriced. It is priced at $10. Now, right now, you may be thinking, like, what the hell, that's crazy. Um, that's what I thought at first. But then, once you look into the theme and look what is actually, um, look at the whole theme, it actually includes a script that sets presets. And you can also, it comes with at least 14 presets, which is like 14 different themes, and you can customize everything to your liking. So I'm going to be demonstrating one of the presets right here. Now, um, it has the XLIs and your weather right here. And we're just going to slide. So here on the home screen, you can see obviously it's the iMat kind of uh, style. Down here we got our time. We got our um, weather, and we got the date. So you can see right here, um, we got wallpaper right there, which you can easily change with your settings and wallpaper. The biggest thing about this theme is add-ons. Um, this guy pretty much thought of everything in add-ons, and if you purchase the theme, he will be more than glad to theme an icon, any un uh, themed icons or unthemed add-ons. Now, as for my 3GS, it's just my older device, so I don't have as much as my iPhone 4, which is right here. Now, the reason why this is not Retina supported is mostly because um, the guy doesn't have an iPhone 4. He can't really develop a um, theme for an iPhone 4 when he doesn't have one. So, uh, basically, he has the price up a little bit, but it's definitely worth it. I'm going to be showing you, walking you through most of the things. So everything really is themed. I'm going to show you um, the dialer. Pretty standard. Usually dialers are pretty good. You can see that the dialer looks really, really nice. Um, he's always pushing out updates. I got this um, theme about last week, and it already has an update that he's pushing out. So... Um, some uh, simple stuff. The UI, of course, everything is the matte kind of style. So, um, if you are into that theme kind of theme, that's what I kind of like. As I kind of have a similar one on my iPhone 4 as the black kind of, with a little bit of color. I haven't been able to find anything perfect like this for the 3GS on the iPhone 4, but this theme really has everything. So I'm going to show you a few different things. Um, let's just lo open up a um, folder. Folders look very nice. And also, I'm going to show you the presets. Now, um, there's so much that I can't really remember what to talk about because everything's really done. Besides these bookmarks, which um, are quite annoying, are just there. But I'm going to be showing you the script, which is really the highlight of this um this theme. I'll be showing you the rest of the script on the computer, although I'll keep the camera running. And now that we are on our computer, we're going to want to SSH into our device. Now, very simple. Um, you, again, you can do this with mobile terminal, but it's easier on the computer. So we're just going to want to open up a session. Open up the session. And now we're in. So now we're going to want to type in our directory. So right there, that's the directory. Um, it's supposed to work right at the root level, but for some reason with the theme, it, it has this little bug. So the, all this information will be in the description if you decide to pick this up. So you're just going to want to click enter, and this is already in your device. So now you can see, welcome to IMAP, and then uh, version 2.0 by Pierre Andre. And um, basically, um, first thing you want to do is you're going to want to click 1, and it'll check for everything you have and what you don't have. Now, I suggest that you, um, if you want themed widgets and um, etc. as add-ons from Cydia, I suggest 
going to Cydia and buying the legitimate ones, not the cracked ones, because most of the cracked ones don't work with them, mostly because the different bundle identifiers. So I'm going to show you a preset. So we're just going to click two, and this brings up our presets. We're just going to want to click enter, enter, and then right here, here's our um, presets. So we can pick from any one of these. I've tried out most of these. So basically, if we want to click um, one of these, let's just say 11. Or let's just go with one, just basic. And then basically, it will um, detect all your add-ons. And it will basically um, change everything that's necessary. So it's very cool. So we're going to enable that. And it just prompts you for some basic things suggested. And we're going to click yes. And we'll do yes. And ask us if we want to respring. Now, if you added on uh, widgets, you're going to want to run the um, run the weather widget. So we're going to click four and now run the weather widget. Now very simple, this is all simple uh, browsing. So we're just going to go with New York. And okay, and we're just going to go with this zip code right here. And ask us what unit we want, Fahrenheit or Celsius, F. Um, when do you want it refreshed? I'm going to say every 60 minutes. And we're going to click our clock select our clock mode so we're going to click 12 and it pretty much does that enter and basically you're there now you can also configure RSS widgets if your preset includes that and um, you can respring and install update and IMAT extras so we're just going to click 0 and our device will respring and now we will see over here the device respringing without even touching it which is very very cool so just wait for that to respring and here we go we got um, this this is the standard version of the theme but it does look very very nice and it didn't actually have any add-ons which I can't show you so I'll show you one more different uh, preset but basically every time you respring after your preset it will automatically set all your icons, all your, it'll all move to the right spot. So it's very, very cool and very sophisticated versus normal themes where you have to set up, just like on the iPhone 4. So one more preset. And we are going to go with um, probably 13 and it's going to run okay and now that that ran we're going to want to configure our weather just one more time so we're going to do New York and then we're just going to use the zip code F um, 60 and 12 and enter and now we're just going to want to respring and our device will be totally set Okay, and now that we see on our device, we have all of the weather stats right there. So you can see that New York is set, and the time is set perfectly. So it's not a 24-hour clock like you saw at the beginning of the video. Everything is um, where it should be. Um, as you can see, it's in New York. And I actually did not have to change anything on the device. I only had to um, do that. So the reason why um, this is a little uneven down there is because I have not purchased um, shrink. Now basically um, this one is meant to, you can just drag your stuff right there. And uh, you're supposed to be able to have the side part right there. Now this theme, it's um, very, very cool. As you can see right there, this preset actually, that moves. Um, everything's pretty, pretty good. Now, um, this is only for the iPhone 3GS again. So, um, basically, it's a theme that has a lot more and a lot more put into it. 
So if you want to check this out, we're going to show you. It's in Theme It, which I'll show you right now. And basically, you can customize it to any way you want. So if you don't like a certain thing, um, either ask um, the uh, owner by email, or you can just set it yourself with the custom configuration. So we're going to go down to IMAT. And here we go. So right here, you're just going to want to open up your theme and app by now and um, download it. So once you do that and you'll be set with this theme, you're probably not going to want to go on Winterboard and set it up yourself. You're going to want to go to that um, configuration in Terminal. So everything um, support and related will be down in the description. Um, he has a website and I'll also leave his email for contact. Um, definitely this, support this guy. Really, he only needs 20 people to buy it so he can get an iPhone 4 and this could be out for the iPhone 4 and iPod Touch 4. So definitely support this guy. Don't pirate the um, theme. And check out Theme It. Also check out my latest videos and subscribe up there. And uh, don't forget to check out iOSforlife.com. So rate, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you.